Hi guys, so balik na naman po tayo sa isang weight loss vlog. So ito naman is about how I lost 8 kilograms of weight from December 2018 to up to this point. So before, meron pa akong abs. May 2015, I had abs at 52 kilograms kasi nag yoga ako by then. Then I got pregnant and I was about to deliver on November 2016, so mark 63 kilograms. When I was breastfeeding my child, talagang lumobo na ako starting December 2017. Kitang kita 56 kilos. Yung post pregnancy weight ko is around 53, 54 lang. You can really spot a difference by just looking at how toned my arms were by November 2016 and December 2017. So wala talaga sa Walang katonto na talaga siya sa December 2017. Come December 2018, talagang lumobo na ako as in super. Parang lahat ng pagkain ay masarap. Hindi ko alam kung bakit. And then I decided, kasi meron din kaming ano, bet sa office namin na we should lose 5 kilograms of weight before 2019 ends. So, at September 2017, salamat po Lord. I became successful in shedding off a few pounds so parang mga 16 pounds siguro so i will tell you my secret at how i reached a certain level of achievement Charat. so my secret talaga has always been yoga it's a very nice um, routine to do you don't have to do something like this don na sa video na talagang kailangan mag headstand para pumayat no I will be teaching you the things that I am doing. Hindi ako masyada na headstand lately. But before you proceed with doing yoga, I have a few reminders. So number one, to do this routine two hours before or after a meal. So basically, pa din morning. Kasi you haven't had eaten anything sa night. Tapos sa morning naman, pwedeng mag-eat ka mga around 6 or probably 7 a.m. or 8. So, number 2 is consult a licensed doctor or physician before starting this routine for any suspected back injury or previous present musculoskeletal or cardiovascular problems. Para naman, hindi po kayo magka-injury while doing the poses. Baka kasalanan ko pa, ba? So, lastly, hold each pose for 30 to 60 seconds. Do not hurry going from one pose to another. Be mindful of your breath. Breathe in and breathe out as if you are spreading the good energy inside of you and then you are letting all of the negativities out. Don't forget to spread your toes and fingers and align each part of your body. Also, make sure that your muscles are contracting but, but not tight. So, dapat ano lang, chill, chill lang. So, di ba nga sabi, if you have to force it, leave it. Mga relasyon, mga pagkakaibigan, mga yoga poses na hindi mo naman kaya, perfect ponytail, say, ang dami-dami mong baby hair. So, just let it go. Relax lang. Huwag mo masyado i-force kung hindi pa naman kaya. So, you have all the time in the world to start again, all over again. Maski simple lang na poses. So, ba't nga ba tayo mag yoga Simple lang. So, ano ba talaga makukuha natin out of yoga? Ang sagot ay wala. However, marami tayong malulus na mga extra baggage na hindi kailangan natin for growth and for our happiness. Katulad ng anger, anxiety, depression, insecurity, fear of old age, and death. So, when you practice yoga, you must set your intention. Ano ba ang pinaglalaban mo today? Which part of you do you want to heal? Or, baka naman ma-intensify kasi may good something ka na gusto mo improve Always remember to set your intentions right because your words, your mind, and your thoughts are very powerful and that they can do wonders and miracles and magic. So today, aaralin natin ang basic yoga sequence for beginners. We start with the mountain pose. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. And 
you start moving to the raise the hands pose. Thank the Lord for all the blessings that you are about to receive and those that you already have received. Breathe in and breathe out. Now start moving your hands downward into the hands in prayer pose. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Then you start again back to mountain pose, back to hands in prayer pose, and the raised hands pose. And prepare to bend forward. Touch your knees and then your legs and if you can put your hands to your feet to do the hands to feet pose. Other people also do the hands under toes pose. Breathe in and breathe out. Then move slowly with your hands planted on the floor, right next to your flexed leg. Just make sure to move your buttocks upward so that you'll have a straighter extended leg. Breathe in and breathe out. Then you start moving the other leg so that your feet will be together and you can do the downward facing dog or the downward dog pose. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Then you start moving a little bit to do a plank. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe Then you start moving your legs and repositioning your feet, including your head tilted upwards to do the upward facing dog or upward dog pose. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Then start moving your torso with your buttocks up to move back to downward dog pose. Breathe in. Breathe in and breathe out. Start moving your legs back to runner's lunge. Position your flexed leg perpendicular to the ground. Don't be in a hurry. And if you can straighten your leg, just like mine, you have to move your torso 45 degrees towards the floor with your buttocks up and your face downward so that you can straighten the extended leg. 
breathe in and breathe out then you start moving to warrior two pose okay breathe in and breathe out breathe in and breathe out you can feel the tension in your legs and on your buttocks here and then you can go lower and prepare to do a warrior one pose breathe in and breathe out again the extended leg should be straight but then again we are not perfect individuals so you might as well do with what you have and make it better the next time then move to do a side angle pose if you get dizzy and you go back to warrior two pose or if you get tired you can start moving to the extended side angle pose I like this pose better as it relaxes my back I don't know you just have to listen to your body if you like it then you hold that pose for as long as you like then transition back to another version of side angle bend remember that in yoga and just like in any other aspects of our lives we should never be in competition with other people but we should only compete with the person that we are in the past breathe in and breathe out as you move back to warrior two pose hold that pose ease between poses gently and carefully so you won't fall breathe in and breathe out then you start moving to do a runner's lunge breathe in and breathe out breathe in and breathe out then prepare to transition back to hands under toes pose breathe in and breathe out you may as well if you don't feel comfortable with a straightened leg then you might as well bend your knees Breathe in and breathe out. Then transition back to mountain pose. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe Transition to raised hands pose. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Transition back to hands in prayer pose. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Then transition back to mountain pose. 
breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. To create a balance, let us repeat this yoga sequence on the other side. Let us start with the mountain pose. Raised hands pose. in prayer pose. So hands in prayer pose, raised hands pose, then bend forward for the hands and toes pose. Transition to runner's lunge. Then transition to downward facing dog. Plank pose. Upward facing dog. Downward dog. Mm. 
Runner's Lunge. Warrior two pose. Warrior one pose. Side angle bend. Extended side angle bend. Side angle bend. Warrior two. Runner's lunge. Hands on feet. Mountain pose. Raised hands pose.
hands in prayer. Mountain Pose So you can always end a session with a child's pose this pose always gives me a feeling of surrender, of loosening up all my very tight muscles on my shoulders and on my back. And you may hold this position for as long as you like. Just breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. So I would like to congratulate you for finishing an entire yoga sequence with a heart full of happiness and contentment. May you prosper in abundance. Thanks for watching. Love, Restless Pinay. Please subscribe! Please subscribe! I'm Ping. Hi, Ping. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> oh, I'm watching.